Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be making a chatbot on machine learning. Yes, it's going to be a very fun project, so let's get started. First of all, you're going to go and add a new project. You're going to name it chatbot, and it should be recognized in text. Then you click on create. Now what you do, you click on that project and go and train. And click five buckets, food, country, lifespan, size, and species. And you ask questions about owls, like what type of food do owls eat? Or what do you like to eat? Or what can owls eat? And our country, same goes for it, and lifespan and size too. Like questions, no answers. And there should be at least six or five examples in each of them. Then you go and learn and test and click on train a new machine learning model and then you can test it out once it's done. If you're not satisfied with the computer, means if it's not recognizing the text well, you can always go back and give it some more examples. You, after learning and testing, you go on to the final step that is make. Click on scratch tree and and click on open in scratch tree. You'll be directed to this page. So, you know, you go in project templates and you click on owls. And you will be given some type of code like when green sack is going to be clicked, set owl to set owl to owl cell or owl talking. And then it's gonna ask you when you're gonna run that project it's gonna ask you whether you want to ask it and then when you ask it some type of question like about anything it says sorry i haven't been taught yet right well here's what you have to do so first of all you go in in control click and drag out the if then block then you go in chat you will go in operators actually and drag out the equal to. In chatbot, you will drag out the first block, which is a circular from here, and put it in the first label. And from sensing, you get the answer. And if it like now, you leave this blank, you know, empty, like totally empty. And also, we're going to go to variables and set out this to something so what we're gonna do we're gonna leave this empty and we're gonna duplicate it we're going to duplicate it at least four more times duplicate it like this so that you will have four blocks that for you know five scripts of this like one two three four five then what you do you get the green, when green flag clicked of that previous score, you get that green flag click of that previous score and what you do, you attach it to this. So you're gonna get the forever loop and put it around this in, and also inside the forever loop, you're supposed to broad, you're supposed to keep the, keep the block broadcast peak and ask out says and wait inside it too. And outside the forever loop, you would set, you would like add this block set out cell, like hello, do you would you know anything about ours? And just like this, you will have your project. Remember not to mess anything up like me. Now, when we run a project, the owl will ask, hello, would you like to know anything about ours? Well, I'm gonna write, where do owls live? Where do owls live? And it will give me the answer. And this was all about today's video. By the way, if you're not gonna talk about, you know, owls, you can always create your own character. However, over a choose a sprite, click on paint. You can draw a circle type of character, something. You can draw a cat, maybe a dog. Yeah, that's my cat, never mind. 
you can draw a cat, you can draw a book, whatever you want. But if you are doing about owls, then this part is perfectly fine for you. You don't need to change it. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you do, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.